Okay, in my last video, I showed you how to make some shadows. And in this one, I want to cover reflections, which is fairly similar, but it just involves clicking in a few other areas. So we're going to start off with our light. We're going to change that light to the sun. Come to the sun or come to the light panel and change that to a sun. Uh, not that that's necessary, but just to give a nice bright effect on us here. So what we're going to do first is come to the material, the default material that this uses, and we're going to actually, we need to, this is going to be our reflector, so we're going to make this reflective. So let's come to the material and give that a material, and we're going to I look for the mirror setting and we're going to show the mirror and we can set the reflective level from zero to not reflective at all all the way to one fully reflective at at this level it would reflect everything um, to the point of you wouldn't even be able to see the object you would only see the reflected environment so we'll put it kind of high but not too high and then that makes um, that makes that reflective, but there's one more setting we have to hit on that, and we have to go to Object Panel and go to Reflections and and call this thing a reflect. Let's see, that's going to be a reflective versus reflexible, which is what we're going to make the cube. I'm going to come to that so I don't get confused. Uh, we're going to make the cube reflexible, and we don't need to. Uh, we don't have any other settings for that in the Materials panel. And that should do it. Let's take a quick render and see if we did it right. Okay, so there we have our reflection going. We have our shadow going. And that looks like the result we were trying to achieve. Now that should cover that, and if you uh, want to stick around I'll show you just a I'm gonna go ahead and warp this plane and just show you some other uh, capabilities that are possible with this HTML export so I'm gonna come into blender and I'm gonna take this cube into I'm gonna tab it into edit mode and I'm gonna subdivide it a few times to give me some surfaces to play with and then I'm gonna go into sculpt mode okay I'm gonna come to the symmetry lock here and uh, right now if I sculpt it on one side of it, it would it would mirror that on the other side, and I don't really need that, so I'm going to turn that off. And what I'm going to do is just give us a little bit of detail to uh, play with our reflection a little bit. And I'm going to tab into... I'm going to come into object mode, and I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and smooth that out. And I'm also going to make it uh, something other than that color. Let's make it um, just a little bit on the reddish side, and let's make the uh, let's make that something other than gray. Let's make it a little bit bluish. There. And let's see what we accomplished here. There we go. So there we we can see our reflections are warbling through that curved mesh and our shadow does the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and put this into auto rotate so you can kind of see how it works. <laughs> 